Welcome to this tutorial for the TrackMan video app version 2.8, May 2015. This time we begin with the end result as we would like to show you up front what amazing things you can accomplish. Here's a recording from the iPad's internal camera. As you can see, you now have video and data merged into one. No more computers needed. All you need is a radar and Apple device. Let's go back to the beginning and show you how we did it. Connect the Apple device's Wi-Fi to the radar as you normally would. Then open the TrackMan app. In the menu bar, click Start and choose the Player, Club, and Target. Now click on Camera in the menu bar. There are two cameras visible, the camera in the radar and your iPad's camera which is our primary device. If you want to record from the radar's camera, you will need to select it. Next, let me show you how you can add another camera angle. Here you have an iPhone. Connect this device to the radar as before and open the special TrackMan camera app. Looking at the primary device's camera list, you can see the external camera has been added and is ready to record. Let's go back to the menu and choose the capture feature. To record with the primary device camera, you will need to press the capture button once for each shot you want to record. Use the circle to frame the player, and that's it. The data and video will automatically record when you hit a shot. On the left, you can adjust light, format, and picture quality based on your environment. To review and work on your recordings, go to history and pick a shot. I have chosen full screen here for better viewing. Let me show you the most important features. In the upper left corner, you see the recordings from all camera angles. Pick the one you want to work on. Next, the play wheel has some great navigation features. Notice that using your thumb creates a very ergonomic layout. A few more tips on what you can do with the wheel. First of all, you can adjust the speed. Just tap, hold, and pick the speed you prefer. Second, slide your finger along the edge of the circle. Now you can pinch and zoom to resize it so that it better fits your thumb. The circle will disappear after a couple seconds of inactivity. Third, the little arrow on top shows moment of impact. To adjust the impact frame, scroll the wheel to find the frame you want and wait for the white circle to disappear. Tap and hold the little arrow. Once it jumps, the new moment of impact frame has been applied. Finally, if you want to move the wheel to another position, just tap the small arrows and drag it to the new location. We also added some simple drawing tools. You have the usual suspects here, the line, which you can readjust, the circle, and the eraser, which works by tapping on any drawing you have made. Finally, if you want to share the video with your student, just upload it to his or her locker on MyTrackMan.com. We hope this was useful to you. Contact us anytime for further questions. Thank you.